I thank you, Mr. President, and let me also, as others have done at the outset, congratulate you, Mr. President, and the whole Moroccan Security Council team for the assumption of the presidency for this month and assure you and your team of our full support. And equally, uh, let me uh, commend Ambassador Puri and his team for his outstanding leadership in what was and turned out to be a very, very challenging month. Um, many thanks also to Mr. Benomar for his excellent briefing. Um, and uh, this will probably be my last statement on the situation in Yemen as my country's council membership comes uh, to an end uh, soon, regrettably. Allow me um, uh, to thus use this opportunity to begin with uh, three more general observations. First, when peaceful uh, demonstrations in Sana'a uh, were met with violence in early 2011, my delegation was among those calling uh, early on uh, for appropriate council action. Not all uh, shared this sense of urgency. But in hindsight, uh, there is no doubt that this was the right thing to do. By addressing the situation on the ground, we made clear that the international community was watching. Uh, this also shows that early action by this council can help preventing conflict from escalating further. The horizon scanning briefings provided by the Department for Political Affairs proved instrumental in this regard. Second, this council in October last year unanimously endorsed the transition plan of the Gulf Corporation Council, which paved the way towards a democratic transition process. It is no secret that agreement among council members was not easily reached. Some saw this as an undue interference in internal matters. But again, it was the right thing to do. I'm convinced that it was the Council's united endorsement of the GCC transition plan that made the difference on the ground. Sadly, this contrasts starkly with the situation in Syria, where consensus in the Council on effective measures continues to elude us. Third, Mr. President, what this Council says and what it does matters to the people in Yemen. And it is registered by those eager to turn back the hands of time. This is why my delegation co-sponsored Resolution 2051 of last June. In this resolution, the Council not only expressed its full support for the transition process under the leadership of President Hadi, we've also warned potential spoilers of the consequences they would face. The Council must remain closely engaged with the situation in Yemen. If necessary, it will have to take appropriate action. Mr. President, we can acknowledge today the progress achieved. It is the accomplishment, um, first and foremost, of the Yemeni people, especially the youth. They have stood up for freedom, democracy, and dignity. It was their struggle that also found recognition in the Nobel, Prize, Nobel Peace Prize awarded to Ms. Tawakul Kaman. We must ensure that these legitimate demands of the Yemeni people are met. The progress achieved thus far is by no means irreversible. We've already seen numerous attempts by the old guard in the political and security apparatus to resist change or even to hijack the process. Yemen's transition will thus require continued international support from the Security Council and beyond. The United Nations play a pivotal role. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Special Advisor Jamal Benoma deserve our support. Their efforts were also recognized by the government and the people of Yemen during their recent visit to Sana'a. At the Friends of Yemen meeting in September here in New York, the international community has also underlined its commitment to supporting the Yemeni people on their path to democracy. Mr. President, a meaningful, fully inclusive, and balanced national dialogue is a key element for the success of Yemen's transition. Progress is urgently needed. We welcome the Preparation Committee, with the support of Mr. Ben Omar and his team, has agreed last week on the remaining outstanding issues. We encourage all relevant actors to engage constructively so that the National Dialogue Conference can start without further delay. My country will continue to support these efforts on the ground. In closing, Mr. President, I want to highlight the important visit by the Special Representative of Children in Armed Conflict, 
Ms. Leila uh, Serugi to Sana last week. The fight against the recruitment of child soldiers has been a long-standing concern for my government, also during our tenure here in the Council. We welcome the commitment made by President Hadi to ban the recruitment of children into the regular armed forces. And we call the armed groups uh, to do likewise, uh, as also called in for Security, resolution, Security Council Resolution um, 2051. And finally, let me assure the Yemeni people and my colleague Ambassador Jamal Abdallah al Salal that my country will remain a reliable partner for Yemen also after December 31. Thank you. أشكر ممثل ألمانيا على بيانه وأعطي الكلمة الآن 